Today we are going to discuss an extremely common condition in women called the ovarian cysts. What are cysts? Cysts are little sacs full of fluid. This fluid could be clear fluid, could be straw colored fluid, could be blood stained fluid, could be dirty, mucky fluid. Different types of fluids can happen in cysts. And cysts are little follicles or little sacs which contain these fluids. If this is the ovary, this could be the right ovary or the left ovary. And different size of cysts can happen in the ovary. They can be very, very small, less than an inch in size or even half an inch in size, or very, very large, which could be several inches in size. To understand ovarian cysts, we need to understand what is the function of the ovary in our body. The ovaries perform two main functions in a woman's body. One is a release of egg or the ovum every 28 days in the menstrual cycle. And the second function is to produce the female hormones called the estrogen and the progesterone. Ovarian cysts can happen either on one side or both sides at the same time. Ovarian cysts can be divided into two main varieties. Variety number one, which is extremely common, is called functional ovarian cyst. This happens as a result of hormone changes during menstrual cycle and only happens in women before the age of menopause when the ovaries are actively producing hormones and ovulation is taking place. These type of ovarian cysts are usually self-limiting, which means vast majority of them do settle down on their own and do not require any treatment. The second variety is pathological ovarian cysts. This does not happen as a result of hormonal changes, but happens because there is abnormal growth of tissue in the ovaries or the cells are growing abnormally. These type of ovarian cysts can happen both before the menopause and after the menopause. They are less common. Some of these ovarian cysts can be cancerous cysts. What happens during functional ovarian cysts? These are the commonest ovarian cysts. Happens only during menstrual cycles, so only in premenopausal women. They do not happen after menopause because menstruation ends and there is no hormonal fluctuation happening in women, certainly not as much as it is happening before the menopause. During each menstrual cycle, both ovaries will form several follicles. Follicles are like little blebs which contain the egg and a bit of fluid around the egg. Around ovulation, these follicles will burst and the egg will come out, which will go into the fallopian tube, into the uterus to get fertilized by the sperm if the sperm is present. However, sometimes what happens that although the follicles form, but they either do not burst and when they do not burst, they form a little cyst or sometimes they burst and the ovum is released, but the fluid inside the cyst or inside the follicle is not released completely. And that forms a small cyst in the ovary. These cysts are almost always benign. They are not cancerous and they tend to settle down after a small period of time, within a few weeks or a few months. Not all of them will settle down, but vast majority of them will settle down without requiring any treatment. These cysts can be of different sizes. They can be very, very small, less than half an inch or one centimeter in size, or they can be very, very large, several inches or several centimeters in size. Smaller cysts usually don't cause any symptoms. Larger cysts can cause symptoms which we will discuss in a minute. In contrast to the functional cysts, pathological cysts are not related to hormone changes. So they can happen before menopause or they can happen after menopause. They happen as a result of excessive cell growth in the ovary. Now this cell growth could be excessive cell growth of the germ cells, which are the cells which produce the hormones and form the ovum or the egg, or these cells could be on the surface of the ovary. These cysts 
can be again of different sizes they could be very very small or they could again be very very large vast majority of these cysts are benign cysts however a small percent of these cysts can also be cancerous cysts not every patient with ovarian cysts have an underlying medical problem however a small percent of patients have conditions which predispose to developing ovarian cysts one of the conditions is endometriosis which i have discussed in my one of my previous videos and i'll leave the link above and polycystic ovary syndrome again in which several cysts small cysts can happen in the ovary this again i will discuss in my video in the future and i'll leave the link above vast majority of ovarian cysts do not cause any symptoms especially small ones larger ovarian cysts or multiple ovarian cysts the commonest symptom is irregular periods either the periods could be very heavy or they might be very infrequent or even absent especially in conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome pelvic pain again a very common symptom with large ovarian cysts patient is unable to pass urine completely or wants to go for urination more frequently and similarly with the bowels infertility or finding it difficult to become pregnant is again a symptom that can happen with ovarian cysts especially if the patient has underlying endometriosis or polycystic ovary syndrome diagnosis of ovarian cysts is relatively straightforward by taking a good history examination of the abdomen pelvic examination by doing a vaginal examination or rectal examination large ovarian cysts can be felt doctor might even want to order some blood tests include hormone levels and cancer markers ultrasound scan ct or mri which are quite readily available especially ultrasound scans of the pelvis can quite easily pick up an ovarian cyst vast majority of ovarian cysts do not require any treatment especially if they are not causing any symptoms and they are small in size most of these ovarian cysts will settle down on their own if however ovarian cysts are very large they are causing symptoms of pain there is a risk of twist in these ovarian cysts sometime which loses the blood supply from the ovary and the ovary can die there is also a risk of these ovarian cysts rupturing and causing fair amount of pain or even bleeding in the tummy these type of ovarian cysts will require treatment also if there is a suspicion of cancer in any of these ovarian cysts then they will also require surgery the surgery can be performed either with a keyhole operation which is laparoscopic or open operation with a cut on the tummy during surgery either just a cyst might need to be removed or part of the cyst might need to be removed if however there is a risk of cancer then the whole ovary or even more extensive operation may be necessary i hope you found this video informative if you did then please to remember to give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe thank you for watching and until next time i see you again take care